Average Bond Enthalpies Chemical reactions involve the making and breaking of bonds between atoms. The average bond enthalpy is the energy needed to break one mole of bonds in a gaseous molecule under standard conditions. Breaking bonds is an endothermic process. That means it absorbs energy. Making bonds is an exothermic process. That means it gives out energy. The enthalpy change in a chemical reaction can be calculated by subtracting the total enthalpy for the bonds broken minus the total enthalpy of the bonds made. So we can use this equation here. This is change in enthalpy equals sum of the bonds broken minus the sum of the bonds formed or bonds made. In table 10 of the data booklet, you can find this bond enthalpies and average bond enthalpies at 298K. This table contains all the bond enthalpies that you need to do the calculations. So let's try an example. The chemical reaction is CH4, which is methane, plus O2, which is oxygen. And with complete combustion, we have CO2, which is carbon dioxide, and H2O, which is water. The best thing you can do if you have this kind of problem is to draw it out uh, like I have here, showing each bond, if you have the time. So you can see that the carbon forms four identical bonds with each hydrogen atom. We have two uh, molecules of oxygen and each one has a double bond between the oxygen atoms. Carbon dioxide has two identical carbon to oxygen double bonds and two molecules of water, so a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, O to H bonds. So here we have four carbon to hydrogen bonds, two oxygen to oxygen double bonds, two carbon to oxygen double bonds, and four oxygen to hydrogen single bonds. And I looked on the uh, table 10 in the data booklet, and I found these values for the carbon to hydrogen bond, so I have four of them, so it's four times 413 gives us 1,652 kilojoules. And I did the same for the two um, oxygen bonds here. Two times 498 gives me 996 kilojoules. And I did the same for the carbon to oxygen double bond, which was two times 746 to give us 1,492 kilojoules and then 4 times 464, and that gives us a total of 1,856 kilojoules. So next I'm going to use this equation here. The change in enthalpy equals sum of the bonds broken minus the sum of the bonds formed. So all these bonds on the left side of the arrow, they are being broken, and all these bonds on the right side of the arrow are being formed. So you add up the totals for the left side and you subtract it from the total of the right side. So I end up with the change in enthalpy equals 2,648 minus 3,348. And the final answer, the change in enthalpy for this reaction using average bond enthalpies is negative 700 kilojoules per mole. And finally, if more energy is needed to break the bonds than is released when bonds are formed, delta H will be positive and the reaction will be endothermic. However, if more energy is released when bonds are formed than is needed to break the bonds, delta H will be negative and the reaction will be exothermic.